Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching another episode of CPU, which is short for Chris Perillo, you decide what the U is short for, and I'm awfully short, but I hope that this video isn't short. Today I'm going to geek out over something that I think is incredibly nerdy, beer. And if you don't think that beer is nerdy, you apparently do not hang out with a lot of geeks and nerds in real life, because it seems that every other convention that I go to, there are tons of people standing around drinking. And eating, of course, too, so I've got something to drink and something to eat. Something unique. Two things that I have not yet tried. So, if you like eating and drinking, this video's for you. In case any of you missed the memo, I love porters and stouts. Those are pretty much the only types of beer that I love drinking. And I learned this over time, through trial and error. Although I can't really say that it's really an error when you drink a beer that you don't necessarily like, because you're still drinking beer. And if you like drinking beer, well, you just gotta find the right flavor profiles for you. You might be thinking, Chris, isn't it a bit of a stretch to geek out over something to drink and something to eat? Yeah, that may have been a possibility until I saw this bottle's counterpart, an ale, which I didn't buy, and on that ale label had Emerald City Comic Con's label, uh, logo. I haven't even started drinking yet. So I'm saying, if they put Comic Con on a label, you know it's a product for geeks and nerds. This is, from the American Brewing Company, a Caboose Oatmeal Stout. I've tried oatmeal stouts before, though I tend to appreciate the imperial varieties of stouts. I'd be willing to give this a shot, and that's exactly what I'm going to do in something a little taller than a shot glass. Let's get this party started, shall we? Party of one. Yep, smells like a beer. This is not exactly a glass that's optimized for porters or stouts, but I've got a few on order. This would probably be better with an ale. As you can see, you can't see through the beer, because I like my beer like I like my coffee. Thick. So thick you can almost chew it. There's no such thing as a thick enough beer or coffee for me. And believe it or not, especially with a stout, coffee goes very well with beer. Creamy. Not too sweet. Bubbly. Tingly. I like that. Like the smoother a porter is, the less I like it. I don't like the milkier varieties, generally speaking. The only thing it seems to be missing is meat. Not in the beer itself, although that might be an interesting combination. No, I mean, something to eat. Given that I love jerky, lemon, and garlic separately, I can't imagine this not being a home run. Oh my god, did I just make a sports analogy? I'm not drinking enough. Here we go with the first smell. It smells so jerky-ish. And that's, that's a good thing, because it's, it's jerky. You don't want your jerky to not smell like a jerky. The only thing I don't like about jerky in general is how it feels. I love how it tastes, but it's kind of spongy and sticky and gooey and jerky. Given that I don't think people buy jerky just to fondle it, we're going to eat some. It's garlic jerky with a lemon chaser. That's a big piece. Tell you what, if you like this video, I'm going to shove the entire piece of jerky that's in my hand, in my mouth, right now. I'm waiting for you to do what you need to do for me to do what I need to do. Thanks, everybody! <laughs> Nothing that a good oatmeal stout can't help wash down. After I finish recording this video, I'm going to head off and do two other live videos, as I do three live videos every weekday in this channel, and if you didn't know, this video was recorded and streamed live. So, if you were one of our super nomies, aka a patron, you could have watched me do all this behind the scenes. You would have seen everything, unedited, as it happened live. Now that I've had my fill, I'm going to assume that you've had your fill, and your name may be Phil too, although that would be spelled differently. It was kind of a, a play on words. I, I like words. Words are fun, and I'm going to stop speaking now because I think you've probably had enough as well. But thank you for your time, your attention, and your appreciation. At this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.
Bebe.